Okay, so I'm going to go over the time and attendance um, version, or at least let's see some of the time and attendance versions as far as the uh, VIP payroll goes um, and how it works in Sabre. Um, this, this, this list of databases that you see here are available to installers and resellers for demonstration purposes only. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here uh, that I want to run the Sabre with export to VIP. So I click on that and then I click on Sabre to run Sabre and then I can go through it with you. It automatically logs in with the, all the details required for the demo. Um, I'm not going to go through all the basic setup and configuration that's handled in other videos. This is really to show you the functionality of export to VIP more than anything else. Um, so the way this works is that a lot of this is automated. However, I'm going to show you the manual process just so that you can understand how the software thinks. So the first thing is you click on the time and attendance wizard and uh, then you would set up your global date period which is preset for me with existing data. Then you go next, you import your data to get all your clockings from your devices. The next is to process the time and attendance. Um, there are lots of settings here but just uh, select by default is probably the best to start off with as you don't know the software. Um, the next is to, once it's all processed, to, uh, to print your normal time overtime report. So if you have a look at this, you've got a detailed report as an example. And you can print a PDF or Excel, or you can just preview it to the screen. So if we look at the preview, you'll see um, you've got your clock in and clock out. So you can see the data hasn't been corrected yet. If there's missing ins and outs, that's part of the process. Like I say, this is just raw data that's been used. I haven't done all the, the, the fixing up of all the data. So you can see the total normal time hours here. And at the bottom of each employee, you can get their total hours worked. The variance based on the shift that they should have worked or they were working. And then you can get the fixed deductions for the tea breaks or lunch breaks that are deducted. And then the hours. So as you see, all of these different staff employees, there's um, 18 pages here. So you can see the data. The summary of that same information, just to show you what that looks like. So this is the summary which is basically the same data that would go through to the payroll. So here you can see a few Sunday hours and normal time hours. I don't see any overtime hours for this particular data set. Okay, so that's the data that would go through the payroll. So to show you how that works, so you've also got so you can also print daily uh, daily labor reports by the way. Let me just show you what that looks like. So daily labor reports will give you if the people are absent, whether they arrived late, left early, all that information. Good summary. Yeah, so we'll go to the next. You can adjust times if you want to correct some times that you're not happy with. Um, you can do this both on a, uh, adjust times monthly or daily. It's up to you. I'm not going to go into that as well. It will also be covered in another video. But if you want to create your VIP file, you click over here. You need to set a batch number. By default, people choose one. This is the file format. We only get given, um, I think it's uh, six fields that we can we can pass through to VRP. So because of that, we end up creating a lot of subcategories um, in case you need to send something else through to VRP. Uh, yeah, so you select the format that you want to send through to VRP. The default one is one, and uh, you click export. This is the information that VRP is looking for. Um, it actually works in minutes, so it's a bit different from the way that we work with in Sabre. But once you're happy that the data is there, you can create the export file. That's the location and the path where the file is saved. This can be changed to any path that you choose, so it could be pointing direct to the VRP folder. And once you've got that saved, you can either view the file. So this is the file that VRP is looking for. That's the format of the way it needs to look for VRP. Or you can go here to email 
you can give it a, an email address that you want to send it to, as well as the subject, put a description on here, and send it. And to set up the email, if you just go in over here, you can either choose the host or the IP address, it'll save this information for future use. Uh, this is for you to be able to send the email directly out of Saber. And that's basically the short story of how to do an export to VIP. Um, there are settings that you can set up for that as well, just to go to the settings quickly for VIP. If you go here to company, and you select VIP over here, you've got Premier and Classic, because there's two different versions of VIP. And here's where you can predefine your, your details for your email and subject if you want to do the email and uh, create a leave export as well so that you can import the leave into VRP. There you have it. Please watch more of the videos. Hope this has helped.